While Mauritius Commercial Bank launched its MCB Africa Bond Fund aimed at generating returns on investment in local currency bonds issued by governments and African societies. Well, the fund is one of the few in Mauritius that offers opportunities for investors to gain exposure to changes in the bond market currency in Africa. Uh, for more, we are joined by Dean Dassar, who's the fund manager at MCB Africa Bond. Dean, thank you so much for making the time to join us today. As we mentioned there in the intro, this is a, a new investment tool uh, apart from listed and unlisted equities. Uh, tell us how would this fund work? Okay, thank you for having me. Uh, this is the first fund of its kind in the world. It's uh, trying to give invest It's trying to give investors Sorry, is there a problem? And not a problem, Dean, please do carry on. You said okay. this is the first fund of yes. its kind and it's trying it's to give investors. It's trying to give it's trying to give investors access to uh, African debt securities issued in local currency. Up till now, investors looking at investing in Africa fixed income were only able to access the Eurobond issues, so Kenyan government debt issued in euros or dollars, or same with Nigeria. And what we're seeing is an opportunity for investors to access the, the local currency securities that are that actually opens up a new type of issuer as well. It's the local corporates who don't have enough money to issue in a, or don't have enough capital to issue in hard currencies, but are issuing on the local market and uh, providing very attractive yields to investors. Mm. Dean, how is this different to some of the other funds? Because there are some, although there are uh, very few and far between, how is this different from the other funds on the market? Yeah, I mean, a year and a half ago, there was no Africa-focused fund in investing purely in local debt, uh, locally, uh, local debt securities. Okay, so that's uh, Kenyan, sh uh, Kenyan shilling debt, Nigerian naira, etc. Okay, you had a few funds that were investing a small portion of their uh, fund in those uh, markets. Over the last year and a half, you've had maybe five companies come to to the market and say we're going to be launching an Africa bond fund. Uh, ours is different because of our style. One of the, our style is we're going to be managing all the interest rate risk and all the decisions at our, 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 at our fund level, uh, the fund management team. Whereas uh, other, other companies are looking at multi-manager approach or uh, a fund of fund uh, uh, approach. Mm. The other thing is that we've decided that look, we want to we educate the market and uh, show people how local currency bond markets can evolve, uh, are moving and the evolution of bond yields. So we've partnered with a, a European entity to create a MCB Africa Bond Index. Mm. So we've created a fund and a benchmark uh, which we're going to be uh, actively managing against and will help our investors see whether we're doing a, a good job or not. Mm. Uh, the other key defining issue is that we're focusing on the one to five year part of the yield curve. Africa fixed income markets are low in local currency are very illiquid. There's a few very liquid markets such as South Africa, Nigeria, Kenya, but on the whole, most of them are very illiquid. Mm -hmm. So you have to, you can't focus on the whole yield curve. You need to focus on only part of it. And we've decided to focus on the one to five year part of the yield curve because that's where there's more liquidity. Mm. Now, Add in the fact that we're leveraging off the MCB's bank of bank strategy, so we're trying to access the, the banks that are in these markets and the end buyer and seller of the, the local currency and the, the debt. Uh, we're trying to deal with these people directly, so that would help reduce transaction costs. Mm. Now, Dean, let's talk about that uh, bond index. Um, is there a specific criteria that countries would have to meet in order to be, you know, to be uh, integrated into this index? Yes. Uh, so we've got an external consultant to, to look at all 54 countries in Africa and rate them according to bond market infrastructure, whether there was a secondary market, uh, macroeconomic uh, uh, potential of the individual countries, uh, whether there's a, a good environment for investors and protection. And uh, this, this uh, consultant scored every single country uh, on all of those metrics and then gave her overall score out of 100. And we've decided that we're going to focus on only the countries with a score of 40 or higher. Mm. All right. now, because they're, with 40 or higher, they've no problem. They've Dean, got a, a dedicated, uh, they've got a proven, yes, yeah, sorry. 
And no, sorry, we keep getting our eyes crossed there. Um, just before I let you go, though, Dean, uh, can you tell us what sort of benefits uh, would they be for an investor if they invested in this fund? And, and when it comes to the outlook for, for Africa, uh, what's your take on that? Okay, the, the type of client we're trying to attract is uh, pension funds, African pension funds. Right now, there doesn't, there's no sense for African pension funds to invest in developed market fixed income because uh, of where yields are in the likes of the US, Europe, UK, where emergency monetary policy quantitative easing has been implemented. And the outlook for those markets going forward is a rising interest rate environment uh, because of Fed tapering, and that is going to affect the capital uh, of, of uh, fixed income investors. When we look at the MCB Africa bond index over the last three years, mm -hmm. it's delivered about 3.5% in US dollar terms. Mm -hmm. That is better than what you've been able to get in uh, US or developed fixed income, whether what you've get, been able to get in emerging markets and what you've been able to get in uh, Latin America, so, sorry, Eastern Europe and Latin America. If we just look at the one to five year part of the yield curve. Well, Dean, and that's we'll have to leave it at that. Africa has really suffered. Unfortunately, Dean, we'll have to leave it at that for today. Thank you so much for that insight. That was Dean Desar, who's the fund manager at MCB Africa Bond Fund.